Welcome to the Navarre Fishing Pier afternoon update. I'm your host, Randy Meredith. You normally do not see my face because I'm behind the camera and I'm doing what they call a voiceover, but I wanted to introduce myself and I wanted to thank everybody who's been watching this on a daily basis, especially the 128 people who have hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. We are a offspring of Navarre newspaper. Uh, we have been doing uh, daily videos on the conditions at Navarre Pier and what the fishermen have been catching. But we also do other video reports when there's emergencies on the beach or other community activities. Uh, I have some ideas for branching out in the future and I'm thinking about doing some videos uh, to show people places to eat at in Navarre that are not from Navarre and, and videos of, of that type. Uh, and we may even get into uh, product reviews down the road because I do use a lot of different products and I have things sent to me and I try them out. So we will be branching out into other aspects besides covering the fishing pier. But I just wanted to thank you for your support, and if you'd like to keep seeing these type of videos, uh, hit, hit that um, subscribe button on YouTube, and uh, that would really help us out because the more people that hit that, then the, the more YouTube kind of pushes the video for other people to see. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go on with today's report. Spanish mackerel returns to Navarre Pier. This is the afternoon update from Navarre Fish and Pier, Monday, September 9th. I'm your host, Randy Meredith. Today, they were catching Spanish baby bonita hardtail. Bad day of fishing is always better than a good day at work. And if you're lucky enough to be fishing off the longest pier, on the Gulf of Mexico, you're all set. The sound you're hearing in the back is one of the jets from the Eglin Air Force Base. That's the sound of freedom. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>